Hey guys, what's up? It's Danny here, and welcome back to Feedback Video Part 2. Um, the other one I recorded like three, uploaded like three, two or three weeks ago. I just I want to give it some time for you guys to comment, see what you guys want, and to what to, what to see. And from what I read is some Gary's mod, which I'm still learning how to play, so that might be a little while. But I'm learning quick, trying to anyway, when I'm not playing... Being addicted to Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim so addicting. Um, some more commentaries. That's that should be coming soon. Do you guys want to see more commentaries? See that from Mystery Tut here. Commentaries. Yep, you got it. I'm. Ad I will be doing some more commentaries. I do have another one other than this one coming up pretty soon. I wouldn't say pretty soon actually. I still need to get the gameplay from my Xbox to my computer. So I'm gonna need to borrow Mini Tufts Avermedia portable thingy, my Bob, because I don't have one. Or a capture card for that matter. I should get one though. I really want one. But that's bottom of the list. Also is some DayZ. And well, DayZ is difficult. Me and Major used to play it a lot. If you remember, or if you've been with us for quite a while, we used to do live streams of just us playing DayZ. Just like, just live streams of just us just playing for like hours. And those were fun. They kind of burned us out of that game, which is why they stopped. We wanted to do them every like once a week. And we just stopped one week and then it just never came back because we got burnt out on it. And Minecraft, and I see another comment about Minecraft survival games. Uh, that's coming soon, definitely. I've just been practicing my PvP, playing some uh, playing some matches on. And the server I play on for Hunger Games, if you guys want to join me or try to find me, is I play on the Hive. I'll have the the Hive, my, the Minecraft Hive, and MC whatever. Um, I'll have the IP in the in the description of this video so you guys want to try to find me on there be sure to try to find me uh, on the hive I, I always play team not team that much hunger games on that on that server because it just works best for me uh, and more minecraft gary's mod so yeah so i'm getting a lot of gary's mod uh from so in gary's mod what do you want to see like trouble in terrorist town or i, I actually haven't played trouble in terrorist town i never played it I should play it though. I haven't tried it yet. Um, do you want to see me build stuff? I mean, the only thing I really built is a levitating bathtub with the hover balls. And I put a thruster in the back and just went nuts. It was awesome. And I put a chair on it, rode it around. It was sweet. So if you guys want to see that, uh, let me know. We'll do that. So, Terrorist Town, builds, or both in Gary's Mod. Minecraft survival games, yeah, definitely be doing that. And commentaries definitely got some already planned and some to come up. Not soon, but eventually they'll start popping up sooner or later since I start getting other gameplay. And I started actually playing Hawken. Uh, it's free to play. Link in the description for that too if you guys want to see it. If you want to download that, it's free to play. It's amazing. Fun game, really fun. Uh, Yaskas Lalna or Duncan got me into it when he uploaded his first one. I was like, mm, it looks pretty good. I don't think my computer can actually run that at the moment I saw that. So I waited a little bit, and then when I got my 780, I was like, you know? And then right when I got it, he uploaded part two, so I was like, you know? I'll try it again. And I tried it again, and well, you know, it works pretty well. So I'm playing Hawken. And one time, like, I was playing, and I went, like, 15 and 2. And I was like, oh, my God, I should have been recording. And I was like, God damn it. But I'll try to get another Beast gameplay up like that and record it and put it in the background of this commentary. If it doesn't, if you don't see any, if you see Hawk in the background of this commentary, uh, it's probably going to be just me being really bad at that game. Um, I have some days where I'm just a beast at that game. Just like, like I think we all have those days where we play Call of Duty or Hawk in or Battlefield and we just have those days where we are absolute MLG pro status good at that game for that one day or that one match. And then every other match is either average or you just absolute crap it. That's usually me. I have one or two really, really good games, and the rest are just complete poo. Or one day I just do really good in every single game I play, and then I get tired of playing, and then I just stop, and then the rest is just poo. It actually happened yesterday in Call of, in Call of Duty. I went one match, I was like 25 and, I want to say 6 or 5, which isn't that great, but mm, good for me. Um... That was a pretty good game, and then the rest were just like complete crap. So I'm not. I'm like I wouldn't say I'm good at COD. I'd say I'm average at it. I go positive. I don't really do like I rarely go negative. 
I always I usually always go positive, but I don't like I'm kind of cautious about uploading Call of Duty because I feel like to me and you like from all the Call of Duty commentators I've seen is they're really really good at that game. They're really good at the game. And Woody like Woody's gamer tag, an exceptional gamer. For an exceptional gamer, he's pretty good at Call of Duty. T. Martin, absolute beast at that game. Syndicate, absolute beast at zombies and multiplayer. And I mean, there's me. I suck at zombies. I think my highest round on Black Ops 2 is like 20. And on Kino de Toten on Black Ops 1, me and Manta play that for like 3 or 4 hours straight on Kino. We made it to like round 50. And then, like, we had this corner where we placed a bunch of claymores. Just in that map, like, just in case things got really hot and we had run out of ammo or anything and we couldn't get to more ammo. We, we wanted to go out with a bang, so we put like 50 billion claymores in one corner and then right as soon as we placed the claymore, the game just like crashed and the server and it, a little notification that popped up, the server has been disconnected or something like that. I was like, <gasps> we were like, no, <laughs> why? And then it turns out we overloaded it with claymores because we had too many entities up. So it's kind of, kind of sucked. And it didn't save in the leaderboard, so that just completely wiped off the face of the planet. God damn it. That was a that was a fun game though. But anyway, uh, I think this video actually it's actually almost, it's actually only at six it's actually only at six minutes long. Um, so yeah, expect some more commentaries. Expect some hawking and some background gameplay footage in this. Some hawking, some Battlefield, Call of Duty. If I get the gameplay, probably not though. Uh, probably not. So, so don't get your hopes up for Call of Duty. Uh. So yeah, Hawken and Battlefield, there's some confirmed gameplay footage for the back of this that you can watch while I'm doing, hearing my voice talk in this commentary. So yeah. And I also want to talk a little bit about some future games that I really want to record. They have, they're not released yet, like The Division. The Division, I know, they're, Ubisoft is primarily focusing on, P, on not PC, on consoles for that game. They are really focusing on console for that game. But there was a petition that had, that went up that people signed to make him to, to for that to make a PC version, and that petition actually I think just recently made the goal so that there might actually be a PC version for the division. And if there is, that'd be really great. I feel like it really do good on PC because there's just a lot of MMO people on PC, and it's gonna be like a like a multiplayer type world like. Elder Scrolls Online, where it's going to be multiplayer, but like Skyrim, kind of, like, it, I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm not, I haven't really done research on that, but I know it's going to be like MMO kind, and The Division just looks really, really good, and I look forward to playing that, uh, might record it with Minitub if he gets it, um, The Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs just looks amazingly beautiful, I can't wait for that game, that game just looks amazing, and I can't wait for it, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. I'm still conflicted whether I want to get an whether I want to get a new console and buy that game for it just to play it on a console because every Assassin's Creed game I've played has been on a console and I just feel like I'm used to it there. And but I might actually end up getting an Xbox One or a PS4 just because I have family that comes over a lot and they'll just be bored out of their mind just sitting here watching me on my computer because they won't want to play a normal old Xbox with the old games. So I might actually have to buy a newer console for that, but I won't be the one pays for it. Probably my mom or my dad will pay for that because I don't, I don't really see myself wanting a new console, one of the new net next gen. Considering my computer can handle anything you throw at it, except for Crisis, a little bit. Um, so yeah, what other game came out? Uh, Kingdom Hearts three. I have been waiting literally an eternity for that game. Ever since I was twelve, when I played one and then two. I've just been Googling number three ever since, and they're like, there is no release date. And then I saw a trailer that said Kingdom Hearts 3, and then when I watched it then, it, was, it turns out it was just for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. So I was like, ah. But don't get me wrong, Birth by Sleep was a good game. I had it for the PSP. Even though it was my dad's PSP, I just stole it from him for a month while I played it. And then his PSP broke, because he broke it. He dropped it at work, because he took it to work, and he uses it at lunch, because he has movies on it. I think he bought movies for it. Um, and then he dropped it at lunch at work and it broke so I only made it past Terra and uh, Ventus I never got to play as Aqua on Birth by Sleep Keep Hearts Birth by Sleep um, 
so yeah, I think that about wraps it up for this commentary, guys. Um, so this is just me like talk like replying about the feedback video I did before. So I think the title of this video is probably gonna be like feedback plus random nonsense talking. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, 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 I cannot speak. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and the video and the gam and the gameplay in the background. Hopefully, I did good in Hawken. Yeah, probably not. I haven't really recorded the gameplay for it yet, but. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to for more content to come up soon. And thank you for watching. Peace out, guys.